Hello. So, I know I've been putting off Book of Mario. I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to do all that reading. And I know people have been looking forward to Frogger. But I'm not really in the mood to do a bunch of the hardest levels in the game either, so. Instead, I decided to play a nice easy game like Crash 4. Not a funny joke. All about the comedy. Actually, I've done uh, quite a lot of progress. Sorry, I got... Oh, I gotta mute the TV. I gotta check audio levels because... Uh... Again, microphone's new. If you watch the Frogger videos, I'm using a Blue Yeti now. Game might be a bit loud. Just enjoy the fine title music, which we haven't sat through for much of. While you hear two of me. Don't mind that you hear two of me. if I can make a harmony. I cannot. All right, that's fine. Crash 4. Uh, so between this stream and the last one, which was quite some time ago, I've done everything. I know it's a bold claim. It is a very bold claim for this game. But as you can see, I have in fact gotten all the gems and I've even gotten all the flashback, flashback tapes, and all the insane relics. Which, ooh, those are often worse than the gems. Because those are the Crash 1 method. You gotta get through the entire level with every box without dying, and these are some absurdly long and difficult levels in this game. I did it, though. The only ones that I'm missing are the two Cortex levels, which I did not play. And I don't like to play uh, levels for the first time off stream, so I will do those two levels. I'll do the flash flashback tapes, which I now have all of, so I can get those. And I'm going to start on the relics today. Which I'm hoping will be easier than everything else I've done so far. I should, uh, I should change skins. Now that I have a ton of new ones. You can see all the new ones are unlocked. We have, so these are the ones we had last time. Let's be Gentleman Crash. He, lo he looks nice. Although these are Cortex levels, so we don't, won't be, uh... Won't see a ton of Crash or Coke. Well, these are the, these are the kind of levels that change halfway through, so I guess we will see them. Thank you, Darian. This game is strange in that, uh... The game itself and the cutscenes seem to render different times. So I can't have both perfectly matched up. In fact, I'm a little paranoid that I've got to find that ship. Oh, if I only hadn't replaced my blasters and teleport with that hair dry function. I'm gonna test one more time just because I wanna be sure that the Yeah, game audio's in time. Okay. So because the game audio is timed right, it's going to be that the, the cutscenes are like uh, a fifth of a second off, is how it goes. It's very bizarre. Only this game I've ever seen that happen with. I considered actually pulling up the guides, as I've had to do for all of the other gems in this game. And doing it with this level just to show, 
all that I have to do to get all the gems in this game. You really can't do it without the guides. But then I decided I just, I don't want that, so I won't. Which way to go first? I'll just play the levels as I have the other levels, and then I'll do the gem stuff off stream. As is the norm. Otherwise, if I did, like, all the gem stuff, that would be this whole stream. Like, the whole stream might just be these two levels. Egg? So, there's a branching path. Maybe I need to go to the top path first so that the boxes are activated? Here first, because I, if I can't go down there and then back up here. down here. Does that lead back to the other path? I guess the way to go would be back here again. Those boxes. And then I go this way. And this is where I would drop down to. That seems right. I don't know what my plan was there. There have been many reaction videos to the Mario movie cast announcement. There was a couple of cool things announced in the direct, but that was easily the highlight. Just, am I just not doing that tightly enough? Because he gets stuck in the animation of the dash ending. And as far as I know, there's no way to cancel that animation. Wait. I can. I think I can cancel it with a gunshot. If so, that's a pretty advanced tech they're expecting. This isn't even a final world level. Also, I missed that exclamation crate. This goes back down here. Uh, crate escape was as anticipated a very troubling level to get the insane relic on. Again, that was the biggest challenge on pretty much every level, is getting everything in one perfect run without dying. Crate Escape was the level with the weird, super hot physics. And I forgot that wasn't even the entire level, that was just a section at the very end of it. So I had a whole level to do before I even got the chance to attempt that once. It's very annoying. 
Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, I didn't do the thing, they cancel, but that's okay, I just made it anyway. Uh, all the Cortex Island levels were also extremely difficult. Should be jumping on things more. Oh, what? Huh? I, get, I guess it varies by world. This world doesn't have bouncy platforms. It has ghost platforms. What's the point, though? Maybe there's the, the, the mask that phases back and forth. And I'm gonna use that somehow? like they would hide a gem to my left or my right but I can't no there's I can't go through there there's, there's invisible walls so I guess not Highlights went up between this and the previous Crash Course stream. I'm working on uh, Crash Bash next, actually. I don't think I'm in a hurry to do highlights of. Uh, uh, oh, come on, I should be able to land on that. I don't think I'm in a hurry to do highlights of the original Crash 1 through 3 playthroughs because they're so old and Crash Team Racing. But Crash Bash was an interesting case because it was the only Crash game that uh, me and Jack played together. If I was a, I was a dirty Crash 4 dev, where would I hide a gem? You do got to think like that, and even then, you're not going to find them all, because they're just that dirty. I can't remember what the most devious one was. Oh, that, uh... I think it was called Crash Landed, the alien planet level was also a massive pain. Any of the levels with sections that you could only attempt once, especially, well, like the polar bear levels. And because this game's levels are so long, those levels don't just have one, but they have two polar bear sections. Or in the case of crash landing, two alien riding sections. With lots of very weird segments on floating islands and things. It was a whole lot to memorize. Those levels being a pain because you only get one chance at those sections. There's no way to take your time. Go back if you miss something. No, you just get one shot and you're done. probably be reminiscing about all of this when I play the relics for those levels, which again, I anticipate will be much easier than all of the other stuff. Boy, I hope so. <sighs> Maybe I should jump on the boxes. Maybe that would be easier.
I can't just blast everything as well because there's a, uh, there's gems for having a certain Wumpa count. So I do actually need to collect the fruit. Which is clever of the devs to incentivize actually getting the fruit and not just the boxes, but boy, it's me. Why, why is Cortex collecting all this anyway? Isn't he allergic? Uh, no, I haven't done anything of note lately. I've been working on the on the anime channel I mentioned, but it's slow. Ah! Driving the driving bus is very stressful, and when the weekend comes, I just want to do nothing. But I shouldn't do nothing, I should be productive. Ah, oh, that was a that was a direct shot. Lame. Well, I got it. It's so hard to make. Feeling at least a little bit better. We watched some stuff together yesterday. He had something going on today, so he was not able to stream, but uh, we might be able to do something tomorrow. I know it's a lot of mites. There's a lot of mites right now. Sadly, no helping that. What else did I talk about playing? I talked about potentially doing a Wind Waker randomized solo. That might be a thing that I do. Soon-ish. Big thing to start while I'm also playing Book of Mario, though. reiterate, I've died 17 times on this level so far. I have to do this in one try for the uh, insane relics. And this isn't even that hard of a level, comparatively. God help me if I tried to do all the collectibles on stream. We'd be here forever. This would be a 50 part let's play. Oh wait, did these ones turn bouncy? Yeah, why did... It's only specific enemies. What a bizarre interaction. I didn't see there was a guy there. There is a guy there. I want to shoot the thing. 
if I can. Okay, I can't. supposed to... I can't jump high enough to get him. Oh, there's a guy shooting at me. I didn't even notice. Okay, I have an idea. That's how you do it. What is this? Third dimension! Really? What a bizarre and arbitrary difference for some enemies to turn bouncy and some enemies to turn clear for some reason. Too high, really? Okay. That's why they turn clear. Because some enemies are in stupid positions. That's why. Okay, there we go. hidden gem found yet. Boy, would I get stranded if I jumped down there? I feel like I would. But I also feel like they could put a, de a, a gem back there. They could be real mean like that. Oh, here we go. You know what? I've died so many times. I might as well trigger this cutscene again. Boy, I love watching that. Okay, it actually it gives me the mask again if I go back. Good, uh, prevent soft lock. Well, it's not a soft lock, you just would have to kill yourself. That also wouldn't be great if you had to do that, though. I was gonna say, uh, no crystals in this game. They just kind of for forewent that. I guess there just wasn't an, an organic way to fit them into the plot.
Ah! I thought I wasn't on the wall yet. I was. It's quite a length out of checkpoint. I guess it's a uh, hard version level, so. Can't have that. Camera, please. Camera, please. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned this on previous streams recently. My uh, PS3 fried. I used it as a uh, YouTube machine for uh, several hours a day. And uh, it always had kind of freezing issues, but more and more recently. And it got to the point where it would uh, it would just freeze up almost immediately after, you know, it'd start using it, so. That was no bueno. And it was definitely no bueno if we wanted to uh, finish Sonic 06, so I didn't really have the option of just not getting a working PS3. So I went to a local used game shop. Got another one. And, uh, same problem. Not as frequently, but, you know, within about an hour of use, it would lock up, so. I know PS3s had a lot of uh, overheating problems. It would ultimately fry the hard drive because their cooling was so terrible. But this was supposed to be refurbished, so it shouldn't be doing that. I uh, brought it back to the game shop, and they sent it in for repairs. So that is where I'm at currently. How many fruit am I up to? Only one of the three fruit gems. I had a double jump. I don't know why I forgot that. You know, that'll look too fine! Oh, you get squished up there. Is the audio uh, cutting out at all? I have a noise gate on, and I'm worried it might be a little too high. Or it might be a little too strict. I, I some of my videos recently. I hear my voice cutting off at like the ends of words or things when it gets kind of quiet. Okay, that time I just wasn't looking. Got this. We're fine. I am a bit quieter than normal. I don't. That's wouldn't have anything to do with it. I'm too much quieter with the game than I would want to, uh... I'll, I'll listen back to it. I'll look into it. New microphone. Just trying to get, uh, get everything sounding just right. 
What is this gonna trigger if I land on this? I'm, I'm worried. Nitros, I see. Is that gonna set these off? It is gonna set those off. I guess I should have figured it was going to do that. I don't like this bonus level. I don't like late game bonus levels. Once we're done with these two, we'll never have to worry about them again. Because the time trials don't got no bonus levels. Double jump. You know what? I don't necessarily have to wait. I can. Uh... There we go. Turn the no noise gate down substantially. Hopefully, you don't hear any background noise or anything. go. Probably all fruitless. Yeah. I'm still going to be missing boxes at the end of the level. I say that every stream, and it's usually true, but I'm going to keep saying it. No, no, sir. Get out of here. Enemies, be gone. What are you? There's a little bug fella. It's okay, he's not hurting anyone yet. Dangerous maneuver for a single fruit. Ah, that didn't kill him! Again, still no hidden gem. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Or it's just in a particularly dickish spot. Which is usually the case. Ah! I didn't think he had an angle on me. I thought I was playing this cover shooter genre effectively, but I wasn't. Playing it 26 lives, sorry, 26 deaths effectively. supposed to hit the nitro though oh this okay they turn into checkpoints if you're sucking enough I forgot that was a feature of this game but, okay I have all the fruit I need I don't got to worry about fruit no more It's 
to... For some reason, these guys are immune to being killed by other enemies. And I don't like it. It's kind of unfair. Check, gotta check everywhere for those stupid hidden gems. Okay, here we go, another one chance section. It, it, upsy da downsy daisy. You just got, you just gotta watch a video and memorize before you even attempt it. If you want to get it in your one try, because that's all you get. Who cares? You guys, you get. To Live on your stupid infested ship. I don't care. I, what do I care? I don't. I won't stop you. It's so hard to see. How'd we do? Oh. Well, oh, maybe I'm getting better at this. We got all but the hidden gem and the deaths. Those I'll have to find off stream. And then I'm gonna have to do it all over again in the in the inverse land version. And then I'm gonna have to do it all again perfectly for the insane relic. Boy, that'll be fun. What was that? Only 37 minutes for one level? Oh, I want to show this off while I'm here. So all the, each world has its own inverted effect, and they're all different visual effects. One is like splash paint colors, one is, I think Cortex Island is like video gamey. It's all pixelated and has little points that pop up. I forget what this one was. Snacks Dimension, here's what I want. I'm not going to play this whole level, but the inverted version of the Snacks Dimension levels are underwater. It's going to be really cool. Just wait for the Switch version to load and you'll see it. You'll see how cool it is. And I'm pointing this out because it affects the physics. You move and jump in slow motion. And this is the only inverse version that has different actual platforming. It's a very bizarre choice for them to have done this. I can't believe you've done this. I don't want to read that. Force of habit. I restarted many times. But it actually was helpful in this instance because playing underwater actually made the stupid crate jumping section easier. It made, made it easier to get the insane relic on that level. It was still awful, but it was easier. All right, last level that we have not seen at all. 1990, let's go to Coco. We haven't used Coco. This Coco skin. Yeah, you tell him, Coco. Is that an axolotl skin? The number of gems you need to unlock skins also increases as you go up in worlds. You only needed... I think it was like four or five for the first world. It was like three on Insane Beach, even. You need all twelve for the Cortex Island skins. You gotta perfect a level if you want to unlock the skin on it. I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, no oh, crash. Weird of them to include a Cortex level after the betrayal arc. 
Now we are well and truly playing as the bad guy. That's nice. I like when games do that. That was, that was the cool part of Sonic Adventure 2. You weren't just playing as the bad guy characters doing heroic things. You were actually fighting, you know, for evil. You, you were working out egg, Eggman's plans, doing evil Eggman stuff. The men who are eggs do. Honestly, it's more interesting than games that have, like, a karma system. Because if you can choose what you're gonna do, then you, you don't want to choose to be an asshole, then you feel like an asshole. I am sure some people do, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to go around tying people to train tracks in Red Dead Redemption. I feel bad. I remember one of the earliest games to promote that. I mean, Shadow the Hedgehog, obviously, but uh, Fable. That was its big selling point, is that you can you write your own story. You can be the hero or the villain. I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is Fable English. You can be the hero or the villain. Very cockney, the Fable universe. This? I don't like this. This has given me flashbacks to a level I wanted to forget about. The slippery the slippery climb music is intensifying. Oh, I don't like this at all. Temporary switches. That's a thing now. I'm curious if, because on the level that this leads into, you hear Cortex having an argument with himself. I wonder if that's how this level is going to end. If we're going to get like a cutscene of that or something. up there. Is that it? That's it. What a weird structure. Is this, is this engines? He wasn't working with Cortex yet. Why is there a weird makeshift metal? There's lots of weird makeshift metal stuff in here. Come on, Cortex. You got more of a budget than this. Hello, Tox. I'm playing the scary hard platforming game. Although I'm past most of the really scary hard parts, and now I'm, I'm doing the the couple levels that I haven't done on stream, and then I'm gonna do some mini game stuff, and then I'm gonna do the time trials. I like that Crash includes a uh, speed running collectible. It's kind of weird that more platforming games don't do that. Like, imagine Mario 3 or Mario World or any Mario platformer. Where you have to, uh... You know, you have to get through a level quickly in order to unlock a path or something. And it was incorporated well as a feature. I can get up there. Well, that maybe that'll rise if I get up there. Maybe that goes to a hidden gem. That looks like a hidden gemmy area. This this ooze is hidden gem. No. Not gonna secretly rise up on me. It's not. 
Spyro did it. Not for most ordinary levels, but it had the it had the time trials for the, the flight levels. Anyway, Cox, what have you been playing lately? There was a uh, I did not stream this one. There was a Bowser Chord crew battle today. probably did about as well as the circumstances would allow. It was, organizationally, it was kind of a mess. We had three of our five Bowsers just didn't show up. No one knew where they were. Had to scrounge up substitutes from just random people in Bowser Court. My internet died in the middle of my matches, so... Someone had to go in between time that I was fixing my internet, and I just resumed with my two remaining stocks. I finished off the MVP of the Young Links, though. I, I took out their scariest player. Yeah, you tried and quit Warrior World. That's okay. Not, not every game is for everyone. <gasps> He's so fucking slippy? That's not a word I would use to describe Oreo. I would describe him as very sticky. Luigi's slippy. Oreo is a uh, large, sticky gentleman. I need it. Clearly, I need it. It's kind of actually, actually kind of weird to see Cortex back at the uh, castle aesthetic. Because granted, that was a thing in Crash One, but it hasn't really come up since. Cortex has been very uh, sciency in space age. Like, actually impressive science -y, not weird makeshift metal slapped together from the scrapyard. Maybe he didn't have the budget. Maybe Cortex was working with just the bare-bone essentials in 1996. He had to prove himself to the scientific community. Maybe that's all he's ever wanted. He just wants Dr. Eggman and Dr. Wily and all, all, all his, uh all his peers to respect him, and they just won't. So this is one of the final world levels. Not only that, this is an optional final world level. So it is uh, exceedingly difficult. As even the non-optional final world levels are. Because this one is optional, I imagine it's even more so. Crash 4 introduces a lot of... Uh, a lot more playable characters than other Crash games. The original two was just Crash. 
Crash 3 introduced a lot of, like, uh, vehicle and gimmick levels. But this has been the first one to include, like, different playable characters proper. With totally different platforming styles and abilities. I bet I could make that. I'm trying to find time to get those two crates as well. Ah, keep going too low for that. Now to get everything, I would have to do this perfectly in one try with zero deaths. And that's not happening on stream. It's like a Mario Maker level. A good Mario Maker level. I mean, it's not bad game design. But God, it's hard at times. You know what? I can't even say that. This isn't, uh... This isn't Kaizo or anything. The very last level, Cortex Castle, got kind of crazy. It got really crazy towards the end. But, uh... Still wasn't Kaizo Kaizo. I actually uh, for me to reason with me. Funny you mention 16 hours of one level. I just finished watching Joel's stream of his uh world famous Mario Maker 2 level CBT. Can't beat this. The YouTube video of which is cut down to about eight and a half hours, but the original stream of which was something along the lines of 16 hours. He spent that long playing the level so that it could get uploaded. And simple flips could tear his hair out. Boy, this is a section. Isn't this... The longest I've ever spent on a single stream was, uh, Crash 2. I 100%ed the Insane Trilogy version of Crash 2 and all the hardest stuff in it in a single 12-hour stream. Oh, there's a pipe that doesn't let me blow up the nitros. Yeah, it didn't look fun, Joel's level. Sorry, Joel. Most time we've ever spent on one level on stream was Clobber Carnage in Donkey Kong Country 2, which was only due to an emulation error. Which we didn't know at the time. But it made the level actually Kaizo difficult. Oh, I only... I was only able to do it so long because, hey, I love Crash. Crash 2 is one of my all-time favorite games. And because it was summer break and I had nothing better to do, so I thought, hey, might as well. Oh, I see why this guy is here. Usually I don't do super long streams. I only go for two, two and a half hours. Majora's Mask, also an exception because my very favorite game, so I, I can spend four or five hours on that. Like I am. 
masquerade as me, will you? Well, I'm you from the future, you idiot! I, I'm not an idiot! You're the idiot, idiot! Get him! Lex <laughs> Lang talks to himself. And now we resume the Coco portion. Crash or Coco portion of the level. Which is the this, this stupid, crazy, Kaizo ish part. Quit struggling! Don't make me. Help! Anyone! We have an evil double Except this is now the harder variant of it. I'm not a double ganger! I'm. No, oh, forget it. Help! There, that'll shut me up. Gotta get up there again. I need that box. Spin in a more favorable pattern, please. These special uh, mask abilities are also new to this game. Previous crashes were fairly basic by comparison. Yeah, these powers are uh, what you're introduced to over the course of the many game worlds. And then they decide to uh, put them all together in one insane gauntlet for the final level. Creative. I, I like the mask powers in this game. I actually was not as much a fan of Crash 3 as most people were. No, I need it up there, I think. Maybe I need it up there. Did I? Yeah, I did. There was a crate up there. I want to at least try to get all the crates on stream. Maybe I won't, but I want to make the effort, because that's the spirit of Crash, is to get all the crates. Also, one of the masks is voiced by Invader Zim, and it's really obvious, because the only voice that he does is Invader Zim. That particular voice actor. exactly it is as it is in the final level. This section wasn't really changed. <gasps> uh, that last part is nuts. They don't hold back the final level for this game. I did perfect this. I did get the perfect relic on the regular version of this level. So I've done this gauntlet many times. Today, in fact. I finished the final insane relics and collectibles, the final couple of levels earlier today. So this is all very fresh for me. Which, thank God, because I wouldn't want to have to come back to this after an extended leave. I would say the same thing about this game as I would say about Spelunky 2. It's made for people who are crazy good at the originals. And if you're not, then fuck you. That's the game philosophy of these games. And... That video I posted 
pain of missing just a few boxes. This is it. Here we are. G, G. Be coming back to this level off stream. They're somewhere. I don't know where. Axolotl, what a weird looking skin that must be. I like that gothic Coco skin though. All right, well, let's do the flashback tapes. There's a lot of them, but they're quick. Let's do those and then I'll start the relics. Red and the Gnar? Snowboarder crash. Oh, there's a little, there's a little progress screen. Also, there's color gems in this game, which are yet another collectible. And are even stupidler, stupider, stupidler harder to find. Those I had to really look up. Those, the, some of them were just stupid. All right. Let's do some of these. Because I didn't have all of these tapes. I had to collect them before I could get to these levels. Another day, another trial. Oh, that's right. These are, like, totally pure platforming, too. There's no, uh, no gasps or anything. Gasps. No masks. Lots of gasps. Yeah, those, these will be quick. These won't take any time. They're easy. Look how easy they are. Wow, that that box sucks. I don't think there's any uh I don't think there's any fruit requirement. I just have to break the crates. Pure crash one. Oh, right, I already hit that one. I, I, I looked at chat. Someone said they were Chaos Emeralds. They are like Chaos Emeralds. Thanks for commenting. Young. When I was but a wee bab. I knew the word chaos. Yeah, chaos. But I didn't know how to spell it. So when I saw that word in Sonic, it didn't process. I didn't process that that was the word chaos. C H A O S. And I always called them the Chaos Emeralds. chat appearing on the screen. Is it not? Should be. Darian, post something. Uh, we couldn't for a while because of the next, again, Nexon being stupid. And removing my YouTube streaming privileges sort of, in a way. Privileges. Like I'm a child. Daddy YouTube took away my streaming privileges. I'm sorry, I'm grounded for three months. But it's back now. I'm ungrounded. Oh boy, what is this? You know! Experiment failed. It was three months that I had to do, like, stupid workarounds. I was able to continue streaming on YouTube with a, 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 a like a, a loophole method. But there was no way that I could get chat to appear on screen, so it just it just didn't for three months. Thank you, 
you, Darian. Also missed that previous message, I'm sorry. I think the mindset these devs had was let's make a game for hardcore crash can crash fans who've been playing the original trilogy on repeat for the last 20 years. Yeah. I mean, you say that as if it's not what a lot of people were asking for, it was more classic crash. But obviously there were there were children who Maybe their first crash, their first grass game was uh, Crash of the Titans, etc. But those games were measurably less pop, less popular than the originals. Morty, where's my voice going today? And you know, critics had very similar responses. And especially after the response to the, the, the original trilogy was the testing. That was the gauge for if there's still interest in classic Crash, and there was overwhelming interest, so of course they were going to go back and do this. Seems like a good way to do that. Uh, how am I going to do this? High enough jump. There we go. Okay. What music is this? These tracks are all like remixes of the classic Crash music tracks. What am I doing? I don't need to... I don't need to worry about fruit. So I can just... I just need to break the crates. That's all. Gonna, is this gonna ruin me in any way? It's fine. I'm fine. I'm good. <gasps> I saw it coming as I input the commands. I jumped and spun. And my brain slowed down as I realized what I had done. Whatever happened to you? These are even more in line with like classic Crash. The fact that in universe these are called Crash uh, Crashback. Yeah, Crashback tapes. <laughs> Flashback tapes. Because these are meant to be like the testing when Crash was made at Cortex's lab. So it's just very, very traditional platforming challenges. No mask, no mask powers, no power-ups. Just jumping around, avoiding obstacles and breaking boxes. Very Crash 1. Okay, so. I need to get these guys up here. Once I know the level, I have to be cautious because I don't know the level is the main thing. Cautious! Like that. But once I know what I'm doing, especially since I don't gotta worry about fruit, I can just, I can just smash everything. Like that. That's way faster. Why wasn't I doing that? the kind of thing that only takes as long as your ability allows it. a little easier. Safety. 
That's what Crash is about. Safety. And I'm not gonna jump and spin. Oh, there's a checkpoint. I thought that was the end. That's not the end. I withheld Enrio's bathroom privileges until he got the recipe right. Master, please. These will be destroyed by the... Do I get extra lives from this? Because these will be destroyed when the nitros go off. I don't gotta worry about blowing up all these. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I gotta think before I act. That's what I gotta do. Let's do that. Then I'll do this. And then I'll die. Because... Okay, okay, I got a checkpoint. I forgot. That's fine. I was thinking, wait, there's a TNT up there. I, sh I should blow that up, but I don't need to because the nitro will blow that up. That's fine. I got a checkpoint. The previous flash flashback tape levels have not been this long. Probably going to get longer, if I'm being honest. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Guess I'm stuck now. You must be able to get extra lives in these levels. That carry over into the... Uh, into the rest of the game. Because otherwise there'd be no point in all this fruit. I can't possibly carry all this fruit. There we go. Easy as pie. You had help, and you don't even have to do these without dying. <laughs> these you just have to get all the crates. Very straightforward. Nice little bonus levels. I like them. Maybe I won't get to relics this stream. I guess that depends on how long these take. Might be good to just start the relics fresh next time. Okay, superhero crash. Why, why has he got bumpa fruit? He, he should be wumpa fruit. Maybe Coco's Wumpa Fruit. I wonder what the Coco flashback tapes are gonna be like. He wasn't canonically in Crash 1. It's gonna be brand new lore. Coco at the Cortex Labs. Countdown Crate Intro. Countdown Crates. TNT? This was the polar bear music, I think. I think this was the Crash 2 Polar Bear music. Nope. Let's try that again. Eventually. Where are you? It's a long one. It's like that calculator game 
where you have to move left and right to follow the thing as the the platforms as they're disappearing. Oh, looks like that hurts. <laughs> Shut up, Frankenstein. Sonic. Going back to the the idea of crash relics and time trials being a core gameplay element. Why doesn't Sonic do that? I, pro I know I've brought this up before. I'm sure I have, but that would be so in character for Sonic. And they kind of tried to do it in the Genesis games. They tried to encourage you to go fast by having it worth points or you get the, you know, the bonus level easier or you get extra lives or continues or something. And they kind of try to do it with the more recent Sonic games by having level grades for uh, levels. You know, C, B, A, S. Just make it collectibles. They should go all in on that for Sonic. Uh... So dangerous! But we must be careful, my friend. Hello, Sandy. What have you been up to? Saw you were streaming Dead by Daylight. Still streaming Fall Guys. God, this is such a long one. I've crashed to his little dance. Come on! Come on! There's a time attack mode in Sonic Mania. That's good. It's another good point for Sonic Mania. Holy crap! Go back, please! Is this bugged? Did I broke it? I think I broke it. Well, I can't progress otherwise. Shut up, Frankenstein! Satisfying Mario Maker levels. Where it's just a bunch of shit on screen over and over again. Make, makes you feel satisfied. Except it kind of wears off kind of quickly. What a weird... That's something that could have been done in Mario Maker 1, but just wasn't. There were music levels, there were automatic levels, all over the place in Mario Maker 1. Oh. Do you just not get another chance at that? Maybe it's just off forever. After the first time! Maybe these ones just... No, this one works. It must have been a bug. It wouldn't trap you there. I think I can get back up. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm gonna have to start over. I 
want to get uh, Jack to play super liminal. He knows nothing about yet. It's a weird first-person perspective puzzle game that I think he'll have a lot of fun with. Oh, that's a thing that I think I mentioned I unlocked the previous stream, because we unlocked it right after beating the game normally. Is the... There's a power where you spin in sequence? And you get, like, a faster spin? And I hope it's not the main movement method for time trial, because it kind of isn't fun. I like sliding more, just saying. I'm a fan of slide jumping. I've grown accustomed to it over my 20 years of replaying Crash 1. Oh, looks like that hurts. <laughs> What's it called? What's what called? The spin technique? Or do you mean the game I was talking about? That was a uh, super liminal. I also want to get the uh, snaky bus. Which is a, like, weird 3D shitpost take on the game, you know, Centipede or Snake, or whatever you call it. Jack and I are, uh, currently watching Miraculous Ladybug. Which, regardless of how much of a kid show you think it is, is very mimetic. We get something stupid out of every single episode. And now every time France comes up in anything, we compare it to that show. <gasps> I'm, I'm being dumb. A lot of the time here, I know it's my fault. I know what this is, but man, I just want to be done with this. Move on to the next one, please! I don't even need to activate those, I can just jump on the boxes. <laughs> Can't jump on those, they got nitros over. Respect, maybe I shouldn't have named this stream for the relics. We might not get to them today. die if one of these crates appears while you're occupying that space. I'm not sure, though. I don't remember. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted to do this whole time. What did that do? What, what did that activate? I'm in the dark. I don't like being in the dark. Okay, I see a crate over there. Okay, turn on again, please. Don't broke. There we go. I hope there wasn't anything above that! Well, I'm glad there's not hidden gems on these levels. That would be highly unnecessary. I wonder if there's a Spyro 4 in the works. 
people have wondered that since this game came out. And I'll continue to wonder because that would be very cool. I would be down for a Spyro 4. Assuming they did that well. They did this pretty well. Not a perfect game, but it's pretty good. I got my money's worth. As one of those Crash 1 through 3, you know, 20 years nerds. Sandy, also waiting patiently for Spyro 4. I knew what I was doing. You like repetition. You watch these streams. Just don't use as any kind of anything for meditation or the like. Because you're not going to get quiet. Crash Bandicoot is a, is a Zelrog outburst game. There aren't a ton of those, but they do exist. And they're especially prevalent when I'm doing a solo stream. Usually I got Jack for that. I don't got Jack for that today. I got to be the loud one. Weird how that works. I can be louder than you, jerk. Oh, I'm a bus driver. I can be pretty loud. Probably spending way too long on this. I remember Mario Party. Oh, hey Tox. Th this this is the poor sap who landed on a single space for nine of his twenty Mario Party turns. You, you did get the taxi star. That game did have a taxi star. Are you planning to get the, uh, you got Super Mario Party, I know that. Are you planning to get the new one that comes out on the Switch? Oh, no! Ah, that was all the wrong buttons! Glad it has, you know, online multiplayer. As Mario Party kind of should have had for a while. Not 
crazy about there only being five boards than being old recycled boards. We also have yet to see what the mini games are like, and I hope that it doesn't require Joy Cons. Because that's probably the biggest thing that kept me away from Super Mario Party, was that it required Joy Con controllers. And Nintendo doesn't know how to make controllers anymore. I don't, I don't trust my Joy-Cons to continue working for Mario Party's needs. They don't even, they already don't work for Smash needs. They all drift. <gasps> Why they both break at once? They're supposed to break one at a time. I don't use Joy-Cons for Smash. I would be more open to it if they didn't drift. I actually like them as controllers. I don't think they're too small, personally. I know a lot of people don't like them even not accounting for drift. That's my only problem with them, is that they don't fucking work. I like their designs as a controller. I love their D-pad. D-pad is my favorite part of Joy-Cons. They just need to not drift. I will be happy if new Mario Party allows me to use whatever controller I like. Looks like that hurts. Another box again. I still don't know that it'll be $60 worth, though. That's a lot to pay for the amount of content in a Mario Party game. <laughs> Is that Will Ferrell, the, the guy on the loudspeaker? Yeah, sure. Will Ferrell as Embryo. Announcing the Crash Bandicoot movie. With Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Crash Bandicoot. Selena Gomez as Coco Bandicoot. Sorry, those would be much too fitting. We need some less fitting actors. Uh, Danny DeVito as Dr. N. Cortex. Jerry Seinfeld as Aku Aku. Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt as Crash. That's the Thor guy, right? This is a joke. I've been corrected and insulted for my lack of Marvel Cinematic Universe knowledge. Hey, okay, Star-Lord. Whoever Star-Lord is, I don't know. I don't watch those movies. Let's just get the, uh, let's just get Adam Sandler and his friends for the Crash movie. You know those guys that just, like, make one movie every couple years, but then keep not making movies? Get Adam Sandler, Kevin James. Kevin James can be Cortex. I forget who else is in their little troupe. You know, the grown-ups cast. That's them, that's the guys. And whoever's the whitest one can play Aku Aku. Because again, we need to make this cast as ill-fitting and mimetic as possible. I, I don't like that set of boxes.
Maybe I can do it in such a way that I can go back and save time with another set of the Switch. Selena Gomez was in Hotel Transylvania, right? She's worked with Sampler before. She can be she can be Coco. That works. And the Monty Python guys as Coco Bandicoot. We have to go to Cortex Castle and stop Neo Cortex. Well, I didn't vote for him! I'm sorry. He's gonna do that. Fucking key as Toad. I reposted the, uh, the Brothers Mario. You gotta say it that way, it's very important. Uh, it was a GT Grand Theft Auto Machinima, the Brothers Mario, old YouTube. And something like that is just all I can think of when I hear the Mario movie cast. Seth Rogen as Papu Papu. Right, I haven't even gotten a checkpoint. I wonder if there is one on this. love one after this section like this this part this super long right here this guy this is what's kicking my ass having to do this long sequence of boxes I lost the... Hey, great. Just lost a box. Okay. I f I'm gonna have to go back. I'm going to have to construct a path in which I can collect the boxes and then go back to reactivate the switch. I'm sure there's a way that you can do it in one cycle, but I, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. That's why this is, the, this is the one. This is the time. Just watch. What's Peel doing? He can be in the Crash movie. He can be Aku Aku. And instead of being, like, stoic and wise, he can be one of those wacky black guys. He can be- he can be the Keenan and Kel kind of character. Aku Aku. God, I can't- oh, that's disgusting! I can't even imagine that! I think it was the PS2 era crashes. Crash of the Titans, Mind Over Mutant, where the mask, Aku Aku, was voiced by the Grim Adventures voice actor, the Grim Reaper. I forget his name. I believe the original Aku actor, the Aku Aku actor. Mel Winkler? Was that his name? Mel Winkler died during the production of Insane Trilogy, or shortly before, and the game was uh, dedicated to him because of it.
mad because uh, I guess it's the, this is the first time I've streamed since the the Mario movie thing. People have had time to react and everything. People are appar are apparently mad that uh, Charles Martinet is not, in fact, voicing Mario. I got boxes full of Pepe! I don't think people understand how Hollywood works. Why did I do that? That's fine. I can do that and get away with it. Just barely. Uh... I mean, I guess he could have... Martinet could have been Mario if he really wanted to. I didn't even know what to expect from the movie. Like, I can't picture an animated Mario movie, because no one talks in the Mario games. Not in full voice lines, anyway. They tried it once. In Sunshine, it was a mistake. They didn't do it again. So just... When the movie was announced, I didn't know what to expect, and I still don't. I think it was gonna be weird no matter what. Why was it a, why was it a mistake that Mario characters had, like, full dialogue? Uh, well, because they didn't in any game before or since. It sounded very strange. The voice acting was not good. It was very, very bad. It was funny bad. I'll grant that. Watch, uh... Watch a cutscene compilation of Sunshine. Or you can play it yourself. I think it's a very clearly unfinished Mario game. That's not awful. It's playable. Man! Well, now I'm committed. Committed to an insane asylum that I will go to after I finish this level. I'll never finish this level. This is the rest of my life. Started to play it. How'd that go? Didn't care for it. Lose interest. Maybe platformers aren't your thing. I, I don't think I'll ever play Sunshine again. Once was enough. very announcement of the movie. I didn't know what to expect from the Mario movie. So, I guess I'll stay open-minded. That was a good spin. That was a good place to do a spin, right there.
game didn't seem bad. I wouldn't call it bad, per se. I, I thought I could just jump over it. Unremarkable? I, I would call it unremarkable. People like Flood. They like the movement options, but... Uh, I thought, it, I thought it made the game very slow. It slowed down the Mario formula. Because I want to, I like, skip and hop and sk skillfully parkour around when I'm playing Mario. I don't want to, like, slowly flutter up because I missed a jump using a, a water jet pack. That's not satisfying to me. I like the Odyssey a lot. That, that's the kind of parkour I like in Mario. Mario 64, Mario Odyssey. Galaxy's okay. Didn't really have a lot of that parkour. A lot of that exploration. It's more linear, more level-based. We've had this discussion every time we play Mario games. Mario Galaxy highlights coming eventually. I'm working on them. Very slow. There's so much to go through. Then when I uploaded all of the... Uh, all the old highlight videos to the new channel. I got nostalgic, and I grabbed some old streams that I wanted to do highlights of, thereby adding to the backlog. If you know the stories about Sunshine's production, if you know that it was rushed, and you know anything about what was going on with Nintendo at that time. I think then you can tell that it was a rushed game. If you're looking for it, you can tell that it's rushed. How big is the backlog? Pretty big. I like to do highlights very slowly of almost everything we stream. Not everything, everything, but almost everything. Okay. Got a checkpoint. We're golden. Look at that. Golden. this going? I have to go up here. I have to get these and go back down again. It's potentially just a recon section. I can make it back to that, though, so that's not... Uh... Probably shouldn't have tried to go under there. Good belly flop. Good place to do that. How'd I do that? take my time on these boxes. I'll, I'll go back. That's what I'll do. Work the first time, it'll work in subsequent times. Do I even need that switch? Can I just jump ahead to the part past it? Can I just jump here? Please. I just don't want to scrape bandicoot guts off the floor anymore. Like that hurts. <laughs> I, 
Did it again. Wow, we're spent. Maybe the. Maybe we won't do all the flashback tapes on this stream. Maybe this. Maybe there's another stream of these before we even do the relics. This is taking a lot more time than I anticipated. We breeze through all the all the ones before this. I don't, I don't need those at all. That that box is a trap. What? I got a different idea. I got another way to approach the problem. Under. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna not blow up. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Another section. More falling calculator game. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Easy peasy. I think I can at least finish all the crash tapes. I'm almost at two hours, but I only got uh, only got one or two more crash ones. I think just one more. I like the crash music. It's very distinct. It's hard to find a really distinct, memorable music style for your video game. Crash and Spyro both do that great. Vortex, Vortex, pre-check. Is that the space station he had in Crash 2? What's it doing here in 1996? This is pre-Crash 1. Where's the foot? No, the... Evolvo Ray is the thing that made Crash Crash. Taking this lore way too seriously. This is a very silly series. With very not serious lore. Could be a little more serious if it wanted to. Cortex is like a Dr. Moreau kind of character. Well, hmm, that's not good. They like snake blocks in Mario. Everyone's favorite level creation tool. Who doesn't love snake block levels? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start them. I'm gonna wait. Then I'm gonna do it. That's how you do it. Except they don't blow up that last one. For some reason. But how get down there, though? But the series has very recognizable music. When I say that Mega Man has a unique soundtrack style. It has a good soundtrack. It's very memorable for that reason. Embryo, the mob. It's just kind of rock music, though. I, I couldn't tell you the traits of what makes Mega Man music Mega Man music. Like I could for Crash or Spyro.
I like Sonic butt rock sometimes. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, I gotta time that better. Talks. Do you have any favorite game soundtracks that come to mind? Let's try that. That seems like a good time to go. I need that! Urgh! What am I doing down there? That's a very complex seeming section, mate. Unless I'm overthinking it somehow. Always possible. I'm actually going through these too fast because I have to wait for the blocks to uh, the blocks to catch up. <laughs> oh look, Darien likes Castlevania. Oh look, the ninja thinks it's a trap. Yeah, a lot of people love the castle. And I would say that has a more recognizable, distinct style to it than the Mega Man soundtrack. Though it is largely just kind of Baroque music with a twist. Before, I'll say it again. I think a sma a crash maker would be swell. That's a dead one. That'd be pretty cool. Oh no, I did it at the wrong time again! Surely they can't, there can't be that much of this level left. This is the last crash one, so they, it would be the easiest. They would throw you a freebie at the end, logically. something I liked about the original Full Metal Alchemist soundtrack as compared to uh, Brotherhood. Original did use leitmotif a lot. There were a lot of uh, themes. A lot of characters had theme songs and you could uh, recognize... Recognize a lot of different tracks. There was like even an overarching kind of theme to the whole series called Bratya that was very well known at the time of the anime's release. And Brotherhood didn't really have a track like that. It just kind of had music. It was there. It did its job. Too bad. 
I'm trying to understand how I can get that dynamite without bonking my head on the nitros. And I've done it before with some weird maneuver where I hit my head on the on the crates instead. But that doesn't seem like something they'd expect of me. That doesn't seem like the intended intended way to do it. Especially since that creates such a small window to then move to the right. There's this stuff up here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think I was supposed to go up there like that. I would say, hey, about what about Ratchet 5? But they, we've continued to get Ratchet games, so. It's not really a crash situation. I mean, we continue to get crash games throughout the years, but not, you know, like crash games. I haven't heard about it. I, I, like, I heard about crash games being bad. Fans of the original trilogy did not like the crash games they were putting out in the PS2 era. But I didn't hear that. I, well, I heard that about Sly 4. I heard the ba that about Jack 4. I didn't hear that about Ratchet. People just kind of forgot about the Ratchet games they were putting out. Like, they were unremarkable. Which, maybe that's worse. Maybe it's worse to have just a forgettable game than it is to have a bad game. I don't know, I guess that's up for debate. I think a lot of a lot of people don't remember the bad games. Like people forgot about the PS2 crash games. They forgot about Jack 4 and Sly 4. They just kind of moved over for other things. In in Crash's case, in the PS2 era, it, moved over for Jack and Ratchet and Sly. No one was buying Crash games anymore. Spyro also fell on some pretty hard times. But again, I, d I didn't hear people, like, laughing at the PS2 Spyro games. They just kind of skipped them. Is this level gonna take add another hour to my stream that I was about to end? I can't think of any way to do it except that weird head bounce on metal method. I'll read chat in a second. A little busy being bouncy right now. Uh oh. No, I need up there. Gotten as opposed to being shot on. Have you 
you've played them? Is there anything remarkable remarkable about them? Did they kind of maintain the formula from previous Ratchet games? Did they do anything different? I imagine because they weren't remarked about, they're not as different as like the PS2 crashes. Spyro went some weird places after the original trilogy. That's a trip. The later Spyro games. Does Cadicorus play Spyro? It's a little weird to be like a Crash or a Spyro player and not the other. They kind of go hand in hand. But they are pretty different types of games. Vinny fell in love with Spyro when he played the Reignited Trilogy was his first time playing them. Didn't care for Crash. Wasn't a, wasn't a Crash fan. Which is disappointing because Steam! But what are you gonna do? I do have some work that I do. I always have some personal projects that I do just every day. Outside of the stream highlights. Those are like a, a, a bonus time thing. What just happened? Why did I fall? I, what, maybe I wasn't looking close enough. Anyway, I did my personal project stuff already today. I did it early because I didn't know if Jack would be on or what would be streaming. What the fuck just happened? I don't know what happened! There have been some uh, silly glitches in our, uh, in my playthroughs of the Insane Trilogy, the, the remake Crash games. I think they do have a little bit of a reputation for being buggier than the original games. Nothing game-breaking, just kind of goofy-looking stuff that shouldn't happen. wasn't that great. Weren't able to do all the crazy upgrading, like three are deadlocked. Well, that was... Those two things were the entire appeal of the Ratchet and Clank games, so, uh... Without the super weird and crazy weapons that aren't in other games, and without the ability to upgrade them in very customizable ways... Yeah, that sounds like that would be extremely unremarkable as a Ratchet and Clank game. That's like making a crash game with no spinning or, bo or boxes. Next time, perhaps. Okay, see you later, Tox. Hopefully this doesn't go much longer anyway. We're totally about to... This is the run. This is the time. We're gonna finish this without dying again. You said you've, uh, not bought Crash 4, right, Darian? Ah! 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 I did it! I told you! This is the one! This is the time! Graduation present subject! A name! Crashworth Cortex the First! Crash, for short. Aw, oh, he named him! He's like his daddy! 
Oh, this looks way easier. I say, and then regret it? That, that still looks easier, though. I can do this. I say this every crash game. I miss when Cortex was threatening. It, it, it is Crash Bandicoot. It's, it's cool for it to be kind of comical. That's in spirit with the game. Just not as as far as they took it after a point. Oh, those are, those blow up all at once. I didn't think of that. like this is just memorization. I mean, I could just go to the end without getting all the boxes. And then I could do this in one or two tries. Can't not get all the boxes in a Crash Bandicoot level. Come on. Don't be a bitch. He just named him. And now he's dead. This isn't something you put your child through. What are you doing to Crashworth? Finish the spin first. Okay, so I just need to get those two crates. The rest will be taken care of by the explosion. house, Darian. I know you didn't move to a different area, but you did move to a different house, correct? Obviously because of Jack's uh, health issues. The move fell through, so if that happens, it won't be until next year. No! I need those! Ah, why is he not... He was just... He was landing on the box and not bouncing on it. Why, why is he not bouncing on the box? You're supposed to break the box, Crash. That's how this works. That's how the physics work. I said a weird deja vu, deja vu moment. And I don't know what it could be for. Why does he land on that one? Oh, that's so bizarre. That can't be intentional. Oh, hey, look, we did it. Easy peasy. Crashworth, everybody. I also forgot to change costumes. We did, we did multiple levels as superhero crash, as Wumpa Man. Bumpa Man. That's okay. Yeah, let's do it again! <laughs> well, now that I have nothing else to do in this game, other than those two Cortex levels I'll have to complete, the Crash streams are back in full swing, so... Next time we'll use Dino Crash. Ain't he cool? Oh, that does that that doesn't look wrong at all. Uh so yeah, now that I have nothing else to do, I'll resume crash in the normal rotation with uh, Frogger and Pokemon. Frogger's just got one stream left, so that's almost done. Come back to this. It, depending on how hard Coco's tapes are, well, are they gonna be harder than that? that was? Like every single one of them? It could be at least one whole stream of just Coco flashback tapes. We got those to do, and then we got the Relic runs to do. So there are more Crash incoming. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe next weekend.
Adiós.